Yes. Yellow cards. Second one, you're off. Hi, I'm Ian Holloway, the Chief Architect at TM Forum, and you're watching Quick Takes from the MTM office here in Joburg, South Africa, where I'm very excited to be ringing our first ever open API spec jam, co-hosted with MTM and Chenesis. Yeah, I joined just over a year ago, um, and I was asked to help develop the architecture team, as well as help delivering some of our key projects. One of which was the TCOB project, which is where I first got to meet Dimi, the co-chair of the project, and our host here at MTM in South Africa. It's been a great project, ensuring we're developing the people elements of the open digital architecture. But wider, I really enjoy working with our members from around the world, um, working to help define solutions to their problems they're facing. No two days are really the same. It's always interesting and, and exciting. Sure. An API spec jam is an event where we focus on our API community. It tends to attract architects and developers. As we rely on members volunteering their time, we normally get a couple of hours per person per week. But by having a spec jam where we concentrate on developing the specification of the APIs, we get people for a week, so we get far more focused delivery from the people working together full time. It's a chance for people to work with other members from different organisations to work on those common problems and develop more APIs. TM Forum's open APIs are game changers for Africa. They unlock agility, enable faster service, innovation, and make it easier for telcos to partner with fintechs, startups, and government agencies. By standardizing integration, they reduce the complexity, and probably most importantly, the cost, key to accelerating digital inclusion and growth across the continent. The platforms like Genosis are unlocking innovation in Africa by making it easier for developers and businesses to access and integrate digital services. When combined with TM Forum's open APIs, they create a standardized, scalable ecosystem that reduces complexity and accelerates time to market. This opens the door for more localized solutions, faster innovations, and greater collaborations across sectors. If more African businesses tap into platforms like Genosis, the ripple effect can be transformative across industries. It will enable faster, cheaper, and more scalable digital innovation, allowing sectors like finance, healthcare, agriculture, and education to build and integrate services more effectively. The kind of ecosystem-driven approach encourages cross-industry collaboration, fuels local tech entrepreneurship, and helps create solutions that are tailored to African markets. The result is a more connected, competitive, and inclusive digital economy, where even small players can make a big part. <laughs> Mic drop.